What's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Hope all of you are doing well today. We got some interesting stories to talk about. Two really good stories for the iPad. One not so good story because that's just how the news happens. It's like two steps forward, one step back. I'm an optimist. I think it's better than worse. Let's go ahead and jump in. If you're excited, drop a like down below. And of course, make sure you stay up to date by hitting that subscribe button and turn on that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on the latest. Did you hit subscribe? No, I'm serious. I'm asking about the video. Last time I asked about my podcast, Genius Bar, link down below. This time, all right, Craig, we'll take your word for it. But Danny, you're gonna need to hit that subscribe button, okay? <laughs> All right, great, glad we're on the same page. Now you guys know me by now, you know I like getting the pain out of the way first. I don't like to drag out the suffering. I'm not gonna leave you sitting on what is this bad news? What is this thing that we don't wanna talk about that is reality? So let's go ahead, take the little Band-Aid, let's rip that sucker off because these guys at Apple have got some balls. Apple is planning, believe it or not, to keep the lightning port again. What? The lightning port? Oh, I might as well die. I'm joking. Don't die. I love you. If uh, if you need to reach out to anybody, just do so. I feel like I don't talk about mental health awareness and stuff a lot on this channel, but if you are feeling like you're in a tough spot, uh, there is help, and I would encourage you to, to reach out to a loved one or somebody you can trust or a hotline like this. On the iPhone, though, for the foreseeable future, lightning is going to be staying. Yeah, I mean, is this a surprise? No. Should we be surprised? No. Are we still pissed? Yes, because we just want USB-C on everything. Apple teased us by putting it on the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, yet on the iPhone, it is never happening. And according to Min Chi Ko, he also delivered the news as to why Lightning is staying. The first reason is the one you've heard before. Apple makes money off of Lightning, right? They make money licensing it. They make money selling products with the Lightning port on there. They've sort of built their own little proprietary ecosystem. Not sort of, they have built their own ecosystem. And for Apple, it works out pretty well. Um, and Ko says that basically, Apple makes a lot of money from this. Like so much money, that they're willing to keep people unhappy just to sell more stuff rather than putting USB-C on the iPhone. So that reason alone is like, come on, Apple, let's just like do the right thing here, which I think would be switching to USB-C. It would make the phone most accessible to the greatest number of people. But uh, the second reason may actually be more important, and it's one I've never heard anybody talk about. The waterproof specification of Lightning is simply higher than a standard USB-C port. Like the Lightning port, being lightning has a fundamental better resistance to water. I guess the way it's designed and how things fit in the cave. I, I don't want to talk about stuff in anything and anywhere. Unfortunately, we have no more detail as to why is it the size, the way that things do fit in the port, or just the overall architecture. Just says the spec is lower than USB-C. I mean, hey, I could keep talking about this, but um, you probably agree. In fact, if you disagree, tell me in the comments why you think. Give me a good, valid, sound argument as to why Lightning should stay, because I, I can't think of one compelling reason for Apple to not switch. And speaking of switching, videos are about to get a lot more fun, guys, because we are officially out of dead season, which I consider December to February for Apple. It's where there's like a lot of kind of infrequent rumors, some big stuff happens, but no new products. Like we have not seen a physical new release in 2021 yet, and that's about to change. John Prosser, of course, reporting that in March, we will be seeing a new iPad Pro and also AirTags, and today, I'm here to give you your first look at what could potentially be the new Apple Pencil, the, the Apple Pencil 3. And it's actually way different than I thought it would be. Like I thought it was just gonna be the same thing. There's a couple key things that are changing according to Mr. White. Now, is this legitimate and real? I wanna talk about this first. We don't know, Mr. White's only about 50% accurate, but the past year he's been a lot more accurate than he has in the years prior. So I'm, I'm leaning toward this being real. First of all, what's new, if we take a look at this image, it's glossy again. Yeah, like, you know how the first Apple Pencil was glossy and then they did matte, which I thought everybody loved. I, I don't know why they're switching, but apparently the next generation Apple Pencil will be available in a glossy finish. I mean, maybe they'll be both finishes, but it seems Apple is just hard switching back to glossy once again, which maybe is for grip. Like the glossy was a little bit more grippy as a pencil than the matte finish, even though personally, as a non-artist who rarely uses the Apple Pencil, I just like the way the matte looked, okay? And the second thing that I can't believe we're seeing in this photo, again, a real life leak, which is so rare to see, usually it's a render or something, but this is a legitimate leaked photo, is the tip of the Apple Pencil. Now, normally you're gonna look at this and say, um, 
Yeah, it looks the same. I don't really know. But this is actually super different than what we have right now. It's as if the entire tip of the pencil with some maybe technology in the rubber part will be swappable or interchangeable or replaceable in a way that we haven't seen before. So if you take off the tip of an Apple Pencil too, this is what you see. I took this photo earlier today. You see how it like screws off like you would expect. You can get the replaceable tip on there if yours is nubbed to shreds and you see an exposed piece of tech, like a little sensor that this sort of screws onto for pressure. But in the new Apple Pencil, we don't see that. It's like maybe Apple is transitioning to a whole new way of interfacing for the Apple Pencil 3 and the tip is like significantly larger I would say 30 to 60% larger. It's obviously kind of hard to tell because this is a photo, but maybe uh, as Mac Rumors actually points out, this could be related to a patent for different kind of tips. Like maybe you have one tip for this application and another tip to replicate painting or, or something like that. I'm just spitballing here, but Apple has filed patents for different style tips. And while this doesn't confirm anything, it's possible that the Apple Pencil 3 could for the first time ever offer tips that actually augment your experience, which would be kind of sick. And with the new iPad Pro like just around the corner, I think it's safe to say that this is probably coming this month as well. Apple always launches a new Apple Pencil whenever the new version of the iPad Pro comes out. We saw this with the first iPad Pro. We saw this in 2018 with the second iPad Pro. And I think we're gonna see it again with this generation iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil 3. And while we're on the topic of the iPad, we should probably talk about like other iPads, not just the Pro or the Air, but what about the Mini? The Mini has been so neglected. I don't really know anybody that uses one. I haven't heard a ton of you guys say you're interested in it. I think a lot of the reason for that is that compared to everything else, the iPad mini is just broadly outclassed. It's in a weird spot. It's really close in size now to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And broadly, I think there's been a lack of interest in it due to the fact that it just looks kind of dated. And I know a lot of you have been hoping for something like this that's behind me on the computer, what you're looking at. Like this is a iPad Pro mini. And I'm here to tell you that it's not happening. Well, we didn't think it was happening because it was just speculation, but uh, but, but now we think it's happening. So yesterday you may have seen some stories about like the iPad Pro mini happening with an all screen design. And it was referencing like some blog that doesn't really have a track record, which is like, I guess fair, but I covered it the night before on Apple track, my Apple site and uh, told you from the most credible source in the game that it was happening. Like, I, I can't believe that I'm saying this because I didn't think we would ever see an all screen iPad mini, but uh, Kang, who has leaked the most amount of details before an event and is spot on, they are 97.8% accurate. Kang, of all people, the most accurate source that I've ever tracked says that Apple's working on a redesigned iPad mini with an all screen design. That's the good news. The not so good news is that we're gonna have to wait a while. Kang says it's only in the P2 design stage. So in this chart, you can see it goes from like P1 to the next thing to P2. Uh, it's not even in like the design value validation or the engineering validation, which are the most important steps for R&D of any product. Just know that like it, it's a pretty good sign that Apple's working on this. And at the very minimum, you know, they're trying, they're thinking about a redesigned iPad mini with an all screen design, but I don't think this is going to be coming now. It might not even come in 2021, but Apple does clearly seem to be exploring it. And like, I wouldn't believe this. It was from anybody else but Kang just has an insane track record and they tend to know what's up. So I'm gonna take their, they're the number one source. What can I say? I can't be skeptical. They're just, they know, you know, they are Tim Cook. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like down below. Of course, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, I hope you are doing well and I'll catch you cool cats in my next video. See ya.